Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm so excited for this video. I'm gonna be doing a Walmart vlog. I'm gonna put the title as like first time Walmart kind of thing, like Brits react to Walmart, but we have been many and many a times before. We came to Florida this exact time last year and we staying, staying in the exact same hotel and it is literally a five minute walk to Walmart. So we were there like most days last year. But to be fair, this is kind of like our first proper time this trip because we went last night at like, oh God, what time was it down? Like it was quite late and we were just delirious. We literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. We literally just went and got some water and some Fanta and we, that was it. We didn't look around or anything. So this is going to be the first time exploring it this trip. See how much it's changed and pick up all my favourite things. And yeah, just explore Walmart together. I love watching videos like this. I think it's so fun. Like American people probably are thinking like what is so exciting about Walmart. But it just is. Like people say it's the equivalent of Asda at home. But I just don't get how that's possible. Like I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, we've been at the Disney parks all day as well. So I'm not looking the greatest. That's why I'm kind of checking my hair out every five seconds. Because we do not look... rude interrupted my vlog um yeah don't look the greatest been at magic kingdom all day listen it's like 35 degrees isn't it so we're not gonna be looking great but that's not gonna stop us from having a good time in walmart so let's go right the first thing you see when you walk into walmart is all these like mickey ears and hats and all these things that are in the park so much money um should we start should we start like back and then work our way like Almost like a supermarket, like down and up, down and up. Honestly, guys, there's so many things here. It takes so long. First item in the trolley, ibuprofen. I don't know what it is about American, ad, like Advil and stuff. Seems to work so much better. If you've got a chronic illness, oh, yeah. you get that that's exciting. <laughs> I'm just directing Dan down like random aisles. Right, this is another little weird thing, but this deodorant I used to prevent chub rub and I know that's probably a bit TMI for some people but it's like a gel formula and it's honestly the best thing ever so I'm topping up on a lot of this another thing that I get really excited by even though you can get them in England is lip balms like look how good these look and also EOS throwback look at that honey apple oh, do you know what I might get that because I didn't bring a lip balm with me um, I completely forgot and my lips are super dry. It says it's honey apple flavour, which sounds pretty nice. And then another random thing, which some people probably don't care about at all, but I love stuff like this. These are Bath & Body Works dupes, right? £2.84 as opposed to like so much money for um, Bath & Body Works. And I got some last year and they're so nice. So I'm going to choose Lemon Cloudberry. This is why I left the suitcase half empty down because... Oh, well, it's not focusing. This is why I left the suitcase half empty because I knew I wanted to get... Yeah. A lot of these. It's not overweight, yeah. <laughs> it won't be overweight. What's this one? Life in full bloom. What sense is that? It literally is a copy of Bath Mods. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got it like that. Cotton Breeze, Golden, Delish. <laughs> huh? When are you getting? What do you mean? How many are you getting? I don't know. I got like four last time. Rainbow Spun Sugar, Blue Raspberries. Yep, that one. Okay, we'll start off with three, but there's literally like so many flavours. Like, what's Ray of Sunshine? Lemon cake, vanilla icing. No, I've got a lemon one, haven't I? Sunny, oh my God, guys, these are just too much. Like, they're actually too much. No, I think I'll leave it at free for now because I will literally go crazy. This is the basket already. Another thing that I feel like we get really excited by in England is the tree heart stuff because you just can't get it at home. Guys, if you love pumpkin spice latte, you can literally get pumpkin spice latte body wash and deodorant. Also, like, imagine you just go to your supermarket and they sell Olaplex. Like, England could never. This is so good. I love Walmart so much. I actually think I'm more of a Walmart girl than Target. Like, that is probably so controversial, but I actually do think. I am. We went to Target last year and it wasn't actually that great. I don't know if it's just that we didn't go to a good one or not, though. I don't know, but it wasn't that great compared to Walmart. Uh, great video. Go watch. Guys, I'm in the makeup slash beauty section and you get you can't bring your trolley in here. You literally get told off. Um... Also, I'm really scared that I'm going to get copyrighted, but last year we literally got told off for bringing our um, trolley into this section. It was so awkward. Oh, look at all this. Look, I know we have e.l.f. at home, but so many e.l.f. products. Guys, also, like, every aisle was just massive. Like, they have aisles of things that would just be, like, a tiny section in England. Like, we did it before. They had, like, a whole aisle for goggles. I'll try and find it. But, like, literally, I'm not even joking today. They had a whole aisle for goggles. I think we've got to go back down yeah, there now. Yeah. Look at all these barbecues. Like, everything is just massive. Like, you can get... Oh, just things that you just it's like like I don't know like the range a supermarket B&M like it's all these things that we have at home but combined it's just it's beautiful this is Dan getting excited about all the Lego honestly like if you have kids or if you just have a kid boyfriend um, <laughs> then they have so many like 
toys, like literally aisles and aisles of toys. Is it cheaper though? Is it actually cheaper? Oh my god, 80, oh, Dan, 80, 80 dollars. How much is that at home, do you know? Yeah, but do you, so how much is it then? Look at that car. Oh my god, do they have the Disney castle? Because that would, that would be worth 80 dollars. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> we were just at Disney Springs and they had they have a whole Lego stuff. Oh, look, they have a Moana. Oh, I've got to make sure I have a girl. Like, I actually don't know what I'm going to do if I have a boy. Like, if I have, if I don't have a daughter, I actually don't know what I'm going to do because, yeah, they've got to be interested in. Well, they don't have to be. I'm not going to be that. I'm not going to be that mean. I was just saying, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Look at this angle. I was saying, like, I don't know what I'm going to do if we don't. I don't have a daughter. So if we end up having a son. I will be heartbroken. Joking, I won't, I won't. <laughs> Look, this right here is my dream bike. The blue or the pink. I'm not picky, I'll take either. Like, imagine, imagine you just see me strolling down the streets in England on that bike. Like, you just know that, you just would know I'm cool. Like, that is the ultimate cool girl bike. How much is it? I'm actually, I'm actually interested. Look at this bike. <laughs> there is a Lego Spider-Man No Way Home uh, New York uh, Statue of the Liberty. Okay. How much is it? Very cheap. <laughs> what? Very cheap. very cheap. No, it's not. Um, quick question. Can you see me on that bike? <laughs> Do you think I'd look cool on that bike? Not at all. What? To be fair, I haven't actually ridden a bike for like 10 years, so I don't even know if I still can ride one, it's but... It's not cool on the floor, are you? <laughs> Alright, that's a bit mean. Look, they have a massive tech section, all these TVs, yeah? Are you actually seriously looking at it? Yeah, but we can't get it home! Oh no, it's 32 inches, see you later. <laughs> see you later, 32 inches, see you later. What's our TV then? No, ours used to be 32. And what is it now? 42. Still not massive. Yeah, they have like massive. Oh, look, they have, they have haunted mansion and Disney game and Jumanji. Yeah, that's what I was saying. An inch is actually quite big. Okay, all right. Oh yeah, they do have memory cards. I might need to get that if my camera. Office equipment. Oh, suitcases down. Let's go have a look. We basically think that we ended up booking two suitcases each instead of one suitcase each. So we can look how much they are because if it's worth it, we might just bring it because we've already paid just for it. Time. But also, we're not buying that much. I mean, it is literally only day one, so I'm saying it's a bit prematurely, but if they're not that expensive, let's have a look. Well, no, it's what the price is, look. I can't even see the price. Oh, well, they're down on the floor, the prices. I can't see the price. Yeah, but what would be the point of that one? But that I mean that's not awful, $47, because that's about what it is at home. Can we see any big one with the price on? If it's 47 for the sort of medium sized one, can't see any of these big ones with the price on though, can you? I and mean, that's an it luggage, so that would obviously be pricier anyway. Hmm, can't see prices. But the thing is, it's only if we do end up getting loads and loads of stuff to bring back. But so far, I mean, it's only day one, but we haven't actually bought anything today, really. So I don't know if it is worth it. Maybe we should just wait to the end of the trip and see what we've actually bought. Because if we have bought loads, then yeah, we'll buy a suitcase to bring it home. But if we've not... Look, this section is like park essentials. I feel like they've done this on purpose. These waterproof bags, we've got some already, but they're so good for the water parks we are phone in. And they've got like bum bags, like anything, cooling towels. This is literally, this is literally Disney park coded. Like this is just what you need. Oh, can we get some playing cards? Just I think, oh, that was open. I just think that's a nice little thing to get from places you go. Oh my God, look at that cable. Jesus. There's so many things, like look at all these tech stuff. Look, again, this is just travel coded. Look at all this stuff, what is that? Wall charger, like, oh my God. Oh, look at all these adapters, Dan. And we literally were saying, oh, we won't be able to get an adapter. Look, another thing, this is Disney section. This is another thing, like, these are so expensive in the park to buy. So much cheaper here. Like, you can get, like, Marvel, Universal Studios stuff, like Harry Potter. Like, I know, obviously, it's not going to be the same quality, but if you don't want to spend the money, they have, like, wands, they have mugs, um, minions, to be fair, might get that. 
<laughs> I said I might get that to go to Universal Studios tomorrow. 14 dollars are so much cheaper than the park or a minion's hat. Done cam. Which one? The one, the one eye or the two eye? Dan? Dan? Is it hmm? no on the hat? Huh? No. So it's, that's a no? Yeah, that's a no. All these bottles, oh, all these ponchos, Dante's Spider-Man, Mandalorian, look. Oh, do you know what? That is that is actually kind of cute. Like, that is actually, you could kind of get away with thinking that you've got that from the official Disney. Kind of. Like, that's actually probably the cutest one here. All these ponchos, and again, so expensive in the park. Do not buy ponchos in the park. They will rip you off. Me and Dan bought. Oh, Dan, we should get this one for you. <laughs> we got these last year, didn't we? And yeah, so much cheaper. Look, they're like five dollars. Oh, you some little postcards, little fan. Look at that. Oh my god, no Uniqlo dupe. Oh no. Right, another Hawaii. Hawaii for goggles. Which do you know what? I actually am going to get some goggles for Typhoon Lagoon because I know I'm going to look like an absolute muppet. But I have contact lenses and. <laughs> I'm not risking losing them because I will literally not be able to see. All right, those ones are kids. Here we go, adults. How much are they? $3. Yeah, do you know what? It's worth it. All right, I'm getting these very manly goggles. I'm a bit annoyed. I wanted some girly ones, but I need to be able to see on Typhoon Lagoon. Last time I went to Typhoon Lagoon, I got unconscious on the slide because I... <laughs> I'm not even joking. I did, didn't I? We told this story time in our um, Target video last year. I literally got knocked out cold. We're not going down on the slide. No, but uh, no, but let me just show you that there's a whole aisle for inflatables. Like, I'm sorry. When would you ever need that? The French fries, love it. Um, beach balls, a whole aisle for beach balls. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Towels. Those towels. Oh, these towels are kind of cute, you know. How much are they? $14. They're actually really cute for like to have at home for the summer, even though the summer's over. Look at the beach chairs. Oh my god, Mark, we packed the goggles. Well, you get free in there, but no. No, or should I wear these ones to type in Lagoon? <laughs> no. All right, look at all these beach chairs. Flip flops, look at these. Oh my god. Hats. I might get a hat in um, Universal Studios tomorrow. Look at all these flip flops. Oh my god, you could literally come to Florida forgetting absolutely everything and you would find it in Walmart. Like, you'd be fine. Like, you don't have to bring anything, you'll be fine. You should just spend money. Like, sliders, look, Dan, why do we get you ones from Home Bargains? Could have got you some ones. Well, that's, that's the same Florida. <laughs> they have loads of Disney clothes if you want to. I'm not bringing this trolley in. Oh, where do you want to just stand out the way then? Do you not want to look then? I do. But look, I'm not so many Disney clothes, so much cheaper. You can get family ones. Right, we are entering the Disney section, guys, in case you hadn't already noticed. We are officially entering the tacky, but amazing Disney section loads of key rings loads of hats loads of clothes no I'm sorry but why are these actually coming home with me like oh are they kids damn it Holly's having a panic attack last year there was a whole aisle of pins this year baby mini oh, who so even knew focusing. baby mini was a thing it will focus if you just leave it <laughs> it will like, focus so if you just leave it <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I actually feel like I'm just, I can't carry this video on knowing that there's no pins in this, gonna be in this video. Let's persevere, let's persevere. Loads of Disney tops, like these pajamas are actually kind of cute, like I actually kind of, I actually kind of like those grumpy ones, like they're actually kind of a bit of a vibe. Look, there's more bottles. Do we do that bottle bit? That place looking oddly familiar. That's just the same old twice, like literally copied and paste because we did that. Oh, but we didn't do this. What is going on right now? We've done this exact aisle, but it's somehow over here now. Walmart is crazy. Do you know what? That, that, that Pluto mug is actually really cute. Damn, what do you think? What do you mean? Why not? How much are they? No, what do you mean too much? Where? Where are you? See oh. That's not too much. Look at this one. Oh no, stop, that's actually really cute. I think if you get one pointless mug, I'll get a stop. Go off Walmart, that's well good. Huh? If you get one pointless mug, I deserve a Star Wars. I said you could have a Star Wars mug anyway. I'm, I'm not gonna complain. 
Or? No, we don't have, to be fair. No, we do, we do, we do. Look at these little salt and pepper shakers. Stop. Imagine having them. That would be so cute. Look, Disney hats with ears on. T-shirts. Oh my God, what more could you want? <laughs> I just realised I went, what more could you want? And then I straight away ended the game and went, pins. <laughs> like pins. <laughs> that is what more I could want. Right, oh my God. Well, no, 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 no. I think I might find them. I might have found them. I might have found them. They're not here. They're not here. You could shed a tear. I saw some key rings. And I got excited. I actually feel like I could shed a tear. I might have to get a pen to cheer me up. Oh, but that's another thing that's good to get from Walmart is like autograph books if you have kids because, again, another rip off in the park. They will actually take all your money. So just get stuff from Walmart instead. Right, we're moving on to normal clothing now. But to be honest, no, I'm not going to look at a lot of this stuff because, I mean, it's not really, you know. We're going to go to the outlets to do like proper shopping, but I'm just giving you a little glance over what sort of like women's fashion they have, you know, if it's that fashionable. I, I, guess, I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm not that fashionable myself, so I can't really comment on that, to be honest. But they have some, I mean, is that cute? What even is that? Is that a swimming costume? <gasps> it's got a built-in bra. It's got a built-in bra. Might have to get that. Swiftly moving on. Did not fit me those ones, so we are moving on. They have like gym stuff. Look at, look at all this trendy. Reebok. Is that trendy? I don't even know. Those are kind of cute. Adenola who? No, it's not even Adenola, is it? Lululemon. Swimwear. That is why I'll be next. Guys, I don't know if I showed you. I just picked up the... Oh, it's not facing I just picked up these vests right i don't know i don't know what material you call it but it's so like slinky and stretchy and they're three dollars they're 298 dollars each so i've literally picked up four of them because how useful they be not only for out here like the pink one and maybe even maybe the green one out here but like the other ones oh my god i'd wear them at home they look so comfy dan said they'll turn into pajama tops which like you know mind your own business they probably will but that's just a girl thing every, every top turns into a pajama top um but you know, we move. They're really comfy and soft for three dollars. I can't really. You're right. Oh no, man down, man down. <laughs> um, this clothing is not the one. This, yeah, no, this. I'm not a fan of this. Oh, hello. No. No, the, this clo this clo <laughs> this clothing is not the one really. You know, in Walt in Target last year, they had like them graphic T-shirts that I found like a Gilmore Girls one, and there was like super mario bros i really want to get that super mario bros one but i don't think walmart does t-shirts like that but if they do it'll be in the men's section won't it no, i mean this is this is in the men's section but they have they do have some graphic tees but to be honest most of these are like boys like you know not that interested i want like jurassic park or like i want to find oh i quite like that beatles one. Oh my god oh my god stop stop <laughs> gotta get it I've got to get it. I, like, I can't. How much is that? Eight, nine. No, I'm eight, sorry, 98. I can't get it. What's an extra large like? Because I want it to be baggy. It could be a dress. Like a shrimp dress. Does it look cool as a dress? <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool as a dress. No? Yeah. <laughs> but you're right. When would I wear this in England, to be fair? And it's massive. You're not going out in that. Let's just be real. No, and it is massive. Meanwhile. Sad to leave this one behind, but if you want a Shrek t shirt, that, that Ninja Turtles one's quite cool. Show me the Star Wars t-shirt. Hold it up. That is a really cool t-shirt. First, First thing of Dan's going in. Wee. Guys, I've just come across this and it would fit me as a dress. Imagine me wearing this to university tomorrow. I'm thinking just with some little shorts on the How cool is that? She stole my top. I wanted no, that. Right, we're starting on the food and drink now. Look at these juices. They're literally massive. How can you get like all these juices, that's insane. Look at this massive tub of cheese balls. Like, that's bigger than my head. This is embarrassing. It's not far off. <laughs> bigger than it's my not, head, surely. It's not far off. You say my head's bigger than that? <laughs> this is what I want to get, some of these Kool-Aid things. They're basically like Capri Suns, but they've got like cooler flavours, like strawberry kiwi, strawberry orange punch. Yeah, let's just be real, are you going to have that? Yes, I will. I'm going to get the blue raspberry ones. I am, Dan, I am. Oh my God, stop saying that. That was a yeah, but these you can't get at home. You can get Krispy Kreme at home. Yeah. We eat these powder. Do you want the powdered ones? Is it wasn't that brown though? It was that brown, wasn't it? And it. Oh, but those ones are slightly cheaper. I don't know what the difference is. 
We're gonna get these ones. We got these last year. You can't even see what they are. Powdered donuts. They're so good. All these Oreos. What? Yeah. Get it if you want it. All these waters. Right. What Oreos are you getting down? I don't actually really love Oreos that much. Last year we got the birthday cake ones. Yeah, what are you getting this one? They, they don't actually have that many different flavours of things. Like it looks like they do, but a lot of them are just no, like. Do. No, but a lot. Oh, look, they have pumpkin spice. Oh my god. No, look do. at that. Pumpkin spice. Yeah. So Dan's good. gone for the golden double stuff, but it's just him that eats it, so it's fair enough. That's what he wants. What else do they have? They have like loads of different cereal bars. We got some cereal bars last night. I don't know if you guys remember. Oh, it's not in this aisle actually. The chewy, chewy cereal bars. They used to do them in England, but I'm pretty sure they banned them because they're just so unhealthy. We were too busy taking a thumbnail. We didn't actually end up picking up drinks. What drinks do you want for the parks, Dan? We've already got some Fanta. Look at that radioactive Fanta. I'm kind of tempted to get... Oh, it's caffeine free, this one. I'm kind of tempted to get some strawberry or pineapple. Dan, what flavour do you want for the room? Not Fanta, okay. What should we get for the room? Because we need some more drinks than what we've got. We've literally got half a water and a couple of Fantas. Um, what, Cokes then? Look at those sizes. They're perfect sizes of Cokes. Is that Coke Zero? Yeah. Do you want to get them? Yeah. Um, and we definitely need to get another water. We need to get another water as well, babe. I think that was the second aisle. Like that aisle next to it. There's so many different flavoured drinks, like all these different flavoured Mountain Dews and all these different flavours of crisps. Cheetos, you can actually get Cheetos in England now, though, to be fair. Mm. That's not that different. Um, Tackies, again, you can get this stuff in England, you just pay a fortune for it, don't you? Because they always just yeah. whack the price up. Or ketchup, French fries and ketchup. Look at all these different flavours. We're thinking about getting pizza, or I do like the sound of French fries and ketchup. Now for the next best thing, this candy, look at this. Sour gummies, so many different things. Look at that, Dr. Pepper cotton candy. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's so many different cool sweets and stuff you can get. Team Jeremiah or Team Comrade, guys. <laughs> Should we have sugar cookies? We couldn't get these last trip until like the end of our trip. Then we're gonna get blue. Right, I'm gonna film the haul um, because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I wanna get this makeup off like the sooner the better. So I'm gonna film the haul. So Dan's already put some of the stuff in the fridge, but I won't bother getting the Coke Zero or the water out because I mean, that's not interesting. Oh, the Kool-Aid you didn't even put in the fridge. I did get a Kool-Aid, I didn't go for blue raspberry. I went for strawberry orange punch, which I have no idea what that means, but I'm gonna put a couple in the fridge actually. Because, sorry, I don't know where we got up to. We realized we're actually gonna go out for pizza, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got first. So I think you saw this in, the shop but i got this marvel t-shirt which i haven't actually seen on actually but it's gonna i'm gonna wear it as a dress basically um tomorrow at universal and then just have some like little shorts underneath it so yeah i got that that was like eight dollars or something and then dan i'll show you yours as well dan got a star wars one um again i think we showed this but just a star wars one that one's quite cool as well to be fair and then these are the vests again i'm pretty sure i showed you everything that we put in our basket to be honest but these are the vests and they're pretty they're just simple vests, but they're so slinky and stretchy. And I didn't really bring any vests with me to, to, the, to this trip. Um, and they were literally two ninety eight dollars. So I got it in pink, brown, green, and like a nudie colour. We got these donuts, powdered donuts. We didn't try this brand last time. Um, we had the other one, but these ones were actually slightly cheaper. And it's going to be the same thing. So we've got powdered donuts. Got pizza flavoured Pringles. And I think if we finish these, we're going to go and get the French fry and ketchup ones. Dan got some double stuff golden oreos i'm not really a massive oreo fan i got some goggles <laughs> we got frosted sugar cookies we got the blue ones i got some more mike and ike i love mike and ike and i got some sour patch these three soaps they're literally like dupes of bath and body works like even the scents this is wild cherry this one says board boardwalk spun sugar and this one is lemon cloudberry and they're literally like a fraction of the price i think they're like 284 dollars we got a tiny little shower gel because we didn't bring shower gel with us um i got this deodorant i think i talked about it in the shop um i love this deodorant they don't do it in england but then i also got this eos lip balm which again i'm pretty sure i showed in the vlog so everything basically everything that i've got you saw me get anyway but i thought i'd still show you but that is everything we got and i think i'm gonna end this video here because we are knackered and like i said i just want to get this makeup off we're still gonna go get pizza i am filming like daily vlogs as well so the rest will be in that vlog and if you want to see that then it'll probably be after this video i think i'm post posting this video first but if you want to see that then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it and yeah i hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching bye